Good late morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Okay, um, I really, honest to Pete, I hope this is the last time I have to go over something like this and I mention statues. But um, maybe I'll just change it to monuments or something. I'm just over the word statue. Okay, let me explain one more time. Just one more time. One more time. We could jam in Joe's garage. He didn't have no dope or LSD, but a couple of quarts of beer. Okay. Uh, Frank Zappa, Joe's garage, in case that slipped by you. I know Chucky, I believe it was a long time ago, asked about Frank. That's a Frank song. By the way, Chucky, thank you for that term paper comment that you left under another video i appreciate it i will read it let me explain one more time about what i'm trying to say in terms of the statues i don't even want to relive the civil war clearly talk about it because there's just so many different notions about it i'm that's why i keep saying slavery was a reason a reason a reason okay i'm getting i'm giving you know some leeway there but for people to say that it had nothing to do with it. I've heard this over the years. In fact, I've read books about it back when I was completely brainwashed. I bought that politically incorrect guide to everything and read basically the Lost Cause version of the uh, Civil War. Okay. Moving to the statues. I am not for removing them. I want them to be kept up there. If, unless the local council votes on it. I mean, it's a local issue, don't you think? But I want a disclaimer, not a disclaimer, but a plaque also erected explaining when the statues came into play, why they came into play in a brief history about the particular person being depicted in said statue form. Moving along from that, but still staying on the topic of statues. I heard, I don't tune into secular talk as much as I used to. However, Kyle Kalinske still puts out some good stuff. And the other day, he mentioned something about evidently some Democrats are getting together and they would like to, um, I guess, make it official. They want to remove statues. I don't know if it's in the rotunda. Is that what it's called? Rotunda or rotundra. One of them means a larger gal or guy. The Capitol. I, I'm sure Nicholas will tell me, but when I said it, it sounded funny. Rot rotunda, rotundra, rotundra. Maybe it's none of those. This is one I wish I could edit, but at least you can just see me being a regular person, making mistakes. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, wanting to remove something, uh, statues somewhere. Okay, so the Democrats are going to maybe get on board with this. In your opinion, ladies and gentlemen, do you think that it would be better? I'm going to really frame this in a way that if you say no, you can't really say no, I don't think. Okay. In your opinion, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, here's the deal. What's going to help the African-American community more? Making it against the law to have the statues or decriminalizing marijuana use or actually legalizing it, take your pick, thereby releasing many African-Americans who all they did was have some possession of marijuana or small amounts or maybe even had a larger amount, but got in trouble for selling it or whatever the case may be, thereby releasing them from the private prison industry. A lot of times they're put in private prisons, which of course lines the pockets of our dear sweet corporations. On a side note, you know, Hillary Clinton got money from the private prison industry, but oh my God, we don't want to go off on that tangent now, do we? So what is going to help the African-American community more knowing due to scientific studies that they are targeted at a, ra a rate of four to one when compared to white individuals in terms of drug usage. So in other words, they use the drugs at the same rate. I think this might be for cocaine. I'm not sure. No, I think it's marijuana. They use the drugs at the same rate, but they are four, they're incarcerated at a rate of four to one. So four African-Americans clearly would get arrested in, uh, compared to one uh, Caucasian. So, yeah, what's going to help more? I mean, these are all cosmetic repairs. It's like putting a Band-Aid over something. It's really crazy. Or how about we rein in the foreign wars and the, the bloated nature of the military? 
I would, that would help not only the African American community, but it would help the community at large and small. I mean, you have people that are born into poverty. They, I don't know why people get the idea that living um, the government paycheck to paycheck. So-called welfare was cut many years ago under our dear, sweet, adorable Bill Clinton. You know, uh, he's putting an end to welfare as we know it. Does that ring a bell? Yet we still have this insane talking point that people are just leisurely living their life pay government paycheck to government paycheck. And well, okay, born into poverty, they have no, no kind of equal footing. We don't have any. There's not an equal footing in the society. That's the major gripe. It's not that some people object to people making more money than others. It's there's got to be some kind of equal freaking footing. Do you understand me, ladies and gentlemen? So. They get to be older. They have no option but to join the freaking military in order to get health care, in order to get, because, you know, the military is very socialistic. You put their uh, family, you know, when they get married or whatever, up in housing, take care of the kids, uh, some sort of food allowance, whatever they do. Very socialistic. Most social socialistic program we have, I believe, is the military or outlet or whatever you want, entity, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, it's like a vicious freaking circle. So, Democrats, get your head out of your asses. Do something that's really going to help people instead of this bullshit. Boy, I'm really swearing now. I'm not going to play it for mother. Of, you know, oh, let's remove a statue. Rather than concentrating on some major things that are wrong with our criminal justice system, you know, where white-collar criminals get away with whatever the hell they want uh, and other people do not, so, yeah, why don't we do that and really help people? That is my final word on this. I hope I don't have to do another video about GD freaking statues. And if I do, I'm going to call them monuments. In closing, once again, remember, if, they, if the city decides to keep the statues, that's delightful. It should be a local decision. And if they do, I think it might be a good idea for a group to get together and... You know those historical markers, you know what I mean? They're kind of tilted up a little bit and they're big. And you walk up to them and you read about, oh, here's details about the Washington Monument or whatever. One of those explaining in what year this was placed, why it was placed, how it was a direct reaction to any kind of equal footing being gained by the African American community because that's what it was. Leaving the Civil War out of this because... You know, this thing's never going to go away in terms of, you know, one group thinks this and that thinks that, and actual historians have backed the one side, but the other side's not going to accept it because they're liberal elitists and all this crap. I can't take it. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. <clears throat> Please join together with me. Drop all of your labels. Drop labels against other people. Let's join together and take on the beasts, the beasts that control our lives. The 1%, the hidden hand, the corporations. Let's do it.